Hi everybody, PIA from Reception Academy. Today we are going to discuss the correction of the exercise number 19 from our home study guide. Please note this tutorial video has been designed for students taking the Opera PMS home study course. If you don't have already access to the software, you could find more information about the course on our website. Um, I have added the course link to the video description below and you could get Opera PMS installed and tag along. You just have to click on book now. For this exercise, I have created a reservation under the name of John Doe. It was a room for three nights, two adults in a twin bedded room. So I put a twin with a rate inclusive of breakfast. For your first task, your guest wanted a luggage rack in his room. So you wanted to go to item inventory, just like so. Click on new. Select from your list your luggage rack. Press OK. You did not need to change the dates or the quantity as it is one rack for the stay. Click on OK. Press OK to close your item inventory window and click on Save. The system will prompt you with a question. There is a trace linked to the item inventory. Would you like to create it? Say yes. Ensure that the date is correct and the information are correct and click OK. Then Save. Add guest address details to the reservation. To do so, go to the profile ellipsis and type in the guest address using capitalized words, meaning that the first letter of each word should start with a capital letter. Once you're happy with those details, you can just press OK on your profile and save your booking. Add the second guest name to the reservation. So what you wanted to do is click on options, click on accompanying, Typing the second guest last name, so let's go with Smith. Peter, Peter Smith. Then what you wanted to do next, once you type in those details, is to click on search. If you don't have any result, click on new. And here you have to type in the minimum details required. So Mr. as a title, and then in communication, you have to put the telephone number, which is mobile, and the email address in order for the receptionist to be able to issue a spare copy of the key in case that guest lost it. So uh, I type in the random telephone number and a random email address, so Peter at smith.com. Once you were happy with all those details, you wanted to click on OK. And as you can see, the guest has been added to the accompanying window. You just need to click close. Close your options and save. Guests requested the Financial Times and Tan newspaper to be delivered every day for this day. So you wanted to go to Preferences, go to Newspaper, select the Financial Times, and the Times newspaper, which is down your list. Then you press OK. The system asks you if you want to attach it to the profile, you say no, and save. Your guests always want a smoking room, high floor, and quiet room but ask for a low floor and a non-smoking room for this day only. So what you wanted to do is you wanted to start with what needs to be for this day only and update it on your reservation mask and then you wanted to update the rest into the profile. So let's start with features. So low floor will be down your list, add a cross, press OK. Say no to attach it to the profile. And then you want to go to your preferences. You want to select smoking and you want to select non-smoking room. Press OK and say no to profile and save. In addition to this, you wanted to attach some preferences for future occasions. So we wanted to go to the profile, click on options, select preferences, click new. And here we wanted to select the smoking preferences, press OK. And your guest wanted smoking for every other step. So we will select it and we wanted to click new again. And this time we wanted to go to features, home features, here we are. And you wanted to select high floor and quiet room. So those are down the list, high floor and quiet room. Press OK. And here you can see that those preferences will be remembered for future occasions. Close, close your options, press OK on your profile and save. 
guests requested three extra pillows in the room and an extra blanket. So what you wanted to do is you wanted to inform housekeeping. To do so, click on Options, select Traces, click on New, type in the housekeeping department, HSK, and we wanted to write down the message. Please arrange three additional pillows and an extra blanket in the room. Once you were happy with your message, click OK. Press close and close your reservation options and save. As your guest is arriving today, is about to arrive, what I will have done as well is I will have uh, added a room number and I will have added do not move and the reason why. So DNM and in our case it's an housekeeping setup. To ensure that this room number as it is allocated especially due to the extra pillows and the blanket does not get changed. Save. I will now accelerate the process to check in the guest and I will meet you again in billing. I will now post all the items on the guest bill. Then I will change the number of night to zero by doing an early departure. I will then attach the company profile and rename the bill under the company name to move the items. And finally, I will split all the remaining extra and put them in two different invoices as the guests want to split the payment in half. So let's start with the posting. For those files were two massages at 30 pounds each, so you put two in quantity, and you had to put the reference and massage. The car park was per night, so I needed to add two more car parks. I could have put one and uh, three in quantity, but I made a mistake. So to keep it consistent, it's better to add it three times. Easier for the guys to understand as well. For the magazine, because we had to go outside to purchase it, it was uh, paid out. So, 15 pounds. And in reference, you have to write down Hot Wheels magazine. To specify what kind of paid out it was. And you can post. As usual, the system asks you if you want to print some copies. Normally you say yes because you are removing 15 pounds from your team. Uh, in my case, I say no, because I don't need it. So bathrobe was miscellaneous because it belongs to the hotel. 50 pounds each bathrobe, they wanted two, so... Then you need to specify in your reference what it is for, so bathrobes. And here we have the second paid out. This time it was for a taxi to City Airport, so 30 pounds. Then in a similar way, I will press close, but normally you should print one for you. This was the last posting. I press close now. And all the charges appear on the guest bill. I will now change the number of night to zero. The fastest way to do it is by doing an early departure. Click on Settlement, select early departure, press OK. The system prompts you that the room and tax charges have been posted. Click on OK. Close the final payment window. And here you will see that the room rate has been posted, that the system now shows the guest as a due out, and that the date of departure has been changed. You can also see that settlement has been changed to check out. We now have to rename the bill under the company name, and to do so, we had also to attach the company here. So the best way to do is to click on Options, Agent Company, type in the company name, in our case, Saucy Sandwich LTD. Here you can see that quite a lot of people did the exercise, but I do not see any under the address of the academy, so I click Search and New. And I type in the minimum details that will be on the business card. So 
If you take a telephone number and an email address, which you should, it's important that you take the generic one in order to get your sales and marketing team to be able to contact that company in case you wanted to negotiate a contract. So once you're happy with all the details, you just have to click on OK. Press OK here and close your options. You can see that your company has been attached to the booking. So guys wanted breakfast, food, dinner, food, car park, taxi and room rate on a separate invoice under the company name. We need to do routing for that. So click on options, routing, window. Because we attach your company name, we can now select the company. Press OK. Close. No to refresh for you. Close options. Open your new window. To do so, perform a right click. Select new window. And here what you wanted to do is you wanted to move your room rent. You wanted to move the taxi. You wanted to move the breakfast food and the dinner food only. So dinner food is this one. And the breakfast food which is this one. For the last task, your guests wanted to separate all of the remaining extra into equal bills. So, what you wanted to do is you wanted to select your window one, click on select all, perform a right click, select split transactions, select percentage, type in 50% to separate the charges in half. Click on OK. Now, all my charges have been divided by half. What you have to do is select one charge out of two. So, an easy way is to um, select one space key and then press down twice, space, down twice, space, down twice, space, down, down, space, down, down, space, and carry on until you've got all of them. Looks a little bit like a piano keyboard. Um, one key white, one key black, one key white, one key black. So, you know, like that's what you want to get as a color. One uh, blue, one white, one blue, one white. Now, once you selected one of each, you want to perform a right click and you want to select transfer to window and you need to select an empty window. So in our case, window three. Now you can see that one guest will be able to pay window one for the total amount of 193.25. And the other guest will be able to uh, pay window three. In case the second guest wanted the window to be renamed, it is possible to do so. You will have to perform a routine again and do exactly what we've done for the company name, but this time you will select an individual profile instead. This brings the correction of our exercise number 19 to an end. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.